Hello there, Internet. This is uh, Matt Attack once again, bringing you Lesson 3 of uh, how to script missions for CNC95. I'm uh, going to start off with some real basic stuff. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Because um, understanding the basic crap will uh, you know, build a solid foundation. Just like everything else in life. You can't be an awesome drummer if you learn your crummy, boring paradiddles first. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over the unit commands that are applicable. I went and looked at the old INI files from uh, the Westwood missions just to see what they used and we'll start from there. Okay, so what the heck, let me just put a guy down here. Notice he's set to guard by default. And for all these uh, missions or whatever videos we're just going to always be good guy. The CPU is going to be bad guy. So here we go. Let's place a man. Let's go through this list here. This is the same as this list. Let's go to action. Okay. Hardly any of these are applicable. Some of them are commands for teams. Some of them don't do anything. They're uh, like you know what near guns. Uh, says a lot is their leftovers from like Doom 2 or something. Okay, the applicable unit commands, area guard, we went over that in the last video. They will again actively defend like a radius around them. The radius depends on the unit itself. Okay, let's see. Guard. Those are units, that, that's a majority of units placed on the map. Again, if they're uh, in guard mode, they will be recruited potentially into team types that you create. Also, uh, if you come up to them within a, a certain radius, they'll shoot at you. They won't really chase you as much as area guard, although I noticed you can actually provoke some units to, to, to follow you. It's a good way to bait them out and kill them. Okay, harvest. I think you can guess what unit that applies to. That's the harvester. Um, although I'm pretty sure even if you just put a, a harvester down on guard, it'll still start harvesting Tiberium. Uh, I was going to experiment with what happens if you do that to regular units, uh, but if I get time for that. Hunt. A unit set to hunt will, as soon as you start the mission, it'll actively pursue and attack your most northwestern unit. Again, the logic of Command and Conquer, it's much like reading a book. It goes this way. Doesn't see anything there, it goes cha ching. If you remember an old typewriter, it goes down the next line. So it's going to follow that logic and attack the no most northern slash mo most northwestern unit. Okay. Let's hunt. I went and looked in the covert operations. INIs, there's actually some units set to move. Uh, I gotta do a little investigating with what that really means. Don't mess with it for now. Uh, none, I think, is just guard by default. I didn't. I don't think I saw it used in any of the uh, INIs. Let's see. Rescue's another one uh, that's a little unclear what it does. I know you can use it to... Uh, there's a real, real fancy advanced trick of making an computer deploy a construction yard that's like 20 lessons down the line okay saw another one on return again I gotta figure out what that does sleep and sticky okay again those are units that are just gonna be you walk up to them they're not gonna do anything unless you attack I think you have to attack sticky ones a little bit more than sleep ones to get them to uh, respond uh, experiment find out for yourself okay and that I believe are all the applicable unit commands okay so you know what let's put that guy to hunt maybe show off that one okay now team type commands where are we at here oh yeah say we're making a team type. Again, there's really only certain of these commands that are ap applicable 
to team types. It is attack base, which will attack your most uh, northwestern, again following the, that same logic, unit or structure. Uh, attack civilians, they will attack the, I believe just the neutral house, their most northwestern unit or structure. Attack units. For all intents and purposes, I cannot tell a difference between attack units and, and attack base. Maybe they intended to be different stuff. Would have been cool if it was, but no, it's just attack your most northwestern uh, stuff. I think uh, if the most northwestern thing is a neutral civilian and they're not allied with them, they may uh, attack those as well. Let's see. Guard. That is, uh, they will stand, it's very similar to the guard unit command. They'll stand at a certain spot. You give them an amount of time to do that. And then they'll move on to the next command. Okay. Loop. How do I put it? This, as, as Near Goods puts it, all teams will go through all their, their team type commands and then loop automatically. I half agree with that, but whatever. You know, let me make a team here. Example. Make a bad guy. And we'll set it to seven. We'll make it a non buggy, which we'll put on the map in a minute. Okay, we're gonna have him move through some waypoints. Move to zero, one. Two, three. Okay, and now what we're going to do is show you how loop works. Notice there's one, two, three, four commands here. Say we want them to move to zero, one, two, three, and then just back to one. Loop one means you skip one command. So he'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now say, let's loop 2. It's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, because it's skipping two commands. So let's put that in there. OK. Make sure we make a trigger for that and the waypoints. And then put them on the map. Control, something like that. I don't know, whatever. Cause time, event create team, set that for five. Side is bad guy because it's a time trigger, and we don't need to loop that one. Okay, it works for me. So to complete that, we need hit the buggy on the map because we're not going to do production stuff in this one. He's already set to guard, so he'll obey our commands. Let's go there. I'm going to go do zero, one, two, and three. So what he's going to do is go through all these waypoints, and then he'll just loop there. I hope that makes sense. It takes a little getting used to. What other team type commands do we have? Got the loop. Move. One of my favorites. Helps get stuff done. That's obviously moving through waypoints. Okay. Rampage. Got to do a little investigating of this one. From what I can tell, briefly looking at it. It's the same as attack units and attack base. Okay. Rescue is one that I've seen in uh, team types in the covert ops INIs. Uh, again, I use that for that the deploying MCB trick. Okay. Ah, unload. This is going to get us to the next segment of the video. That is what you use for APCs that have units in them and Chinooks that have units in them. Okay, which leads me to the next thing.
we're going to show you how to do reinforcements. All right. Now, oh, you know, we better place some good guys on the map here so we don't look like fools. I'm going to stick with my uh, mantra of no mixed tech, so we're going to give the good guys medium tanks. Oops. Four there, four there. We'll give him some Humvees too. Okay, now go to side, good guy. We're going to show off some fancy stuff here. We're going to make our edge west, which means the APC I'm going to have reinforce is going to come from the west. Now, let me show you something here. Let's put a ridge down. There's a wonderful thing here under view, template blocked filter. As you see that is what you call the pink, is what you call impassable terrain. That means my units can't drive over it. Now, as it stands, our edge is west. Our reinforcements can come from any random spot excuse me, our land reinforcements can come from any random spot along that edge. So what we're going to do is exert a little control of where they come from. Let's make it quick and I like using this one. We're going to fill up the majority of this edge with impassable terrain. Yeah, you know, we'll have our guy come out right where that buggy is patrolling. I'm going to leave a little gap right here. faster way to do this. There we go. Now, we don't have any teams yet that are going to reinforce, so let's, let's preemptively put our waypoint down, waypoint 4. And first we're going to create the team. <coughs> and now, if you place APCs on the map, they will be empty. The only way to get an APC with the units on it, for either you or the enemy, is to reinforce it. So, call this on uh, uh, reinf side. Good guy. We'll see if it works with seven. This is where I like to change that, but stick to my own rules here. So you'll APC. What's going to be in that APC? Oh, let's put. Oh, we're, let's be goofy. Let's do five Doctor Mobiuses. Okay, so what's going to happen? It's going to move to waypoint four. We just leave it at that. It's just going to sit there as a full APC. Okay, now we're going to unload. Leave that at four. That actually refers to the waypoint. I don't really know what happens if you change it, but. That's the way it is in the original game, so let's do that. So he'll come in off the map, go to waypoint four, and unload the five Dr. Mobiuses. Mobi I, whatever. Okay, so we got that. Cool, now let's create a trigger. Select our team first. And pull up. Dr. Mo. Cause is time. Event reinforce. We'll make this for 10. Side. Good guy. And we only want it to happen once. Okay. That all looks good there. Let me double check our teams after the last video. That all looks good there. Okay. One last thing. We're going to do a hovercraft as well. Now hovercraft will only come from the south edge of the map. And what you gotta do with that, you gotta have at least one piece of water if you're only gonna have one hovercraft. And uh, a 
along that edge so it has a piece of water to come out. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click drag a box there, right click and fill with water. Now let me turn off my template block filter. Do not, repeat, do not fill with water on the desert theater. It's screwed up in this program and you'll potentially lose all your work. Okay, so now let's make a little shore. I think it might work without it, but just to be thorough. Okay, so we're going to have a hovercraft come up here and land. First, we're going to make our team. Hover side. Good guy. Hovercraft. What are we going to have on that hovercraft? Oh, heck, a Humvee. Fun fact for you you cannot reinforce APCs on hovercraft. I think the computer gets confused of who is carrying who. Just trust me on that one, okay? Hovercraft, you actually do not need to give any commands to. They know what to do. They have specific logic. Okay, got that. Let's do a trigger. Hover. Select. Okay, we'll call this Hummer. Remember, only four letters long on the trigger. Pause with this. We'll do time. Uh, one's 10, we'll do 15. Okay, reinforce, 15, good guy, zero. We started repeating, since we only have one hole there, the hovercraft might start getting confused. Okay, I think that's everything I want to cover in this. Heck, let's give it a shot and see if this works. Oh, lesson. And we'll just keep saving over that same mission there. Yes. All right, let's uh, take this first spin. Let's do our little cheat here first. I'm going to turn down the game speed. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, that's right, that guy's on hunt. He's going to go attack this tank right here. Let's turn it make a little bit faster. And we'll just kill him. This guy here should start his patrol in a second. Marks so we knew where the waypoints are. Let me turn that down. I always forget to do that. Okay. Oh, there comes our APC. He's going to stop right here and unload. Oh. He would have kept looping, but our, we moved our medium tanks in the way there. Oh, here comes our hovercraft. Right on time. He unloads Humvee as expected. Bada boom, bada bing. I think everything worked right that time. I don't know. See you next time. Reinforcements have arrived. Yes, sir. Reinforcements have arrived.